What are the best things to do in Colorado and destinations that you should add to your bucket list this year? Colorado boasts some of the most amazing and unique things to do and to see. The state is known for its rugged national parks, incredible outdoor activities, natural hot springs, underground caves, and rich history. As a Colorado local, I'm sharing my favorite bucket list items that you should add to your list this year. These are unforgettable destinations that are perfect for any season and any time of the year. Number 10, Pikes Peak. Colorado is known for having many famous peaks and popular mountain ranges, but there's none quite like Pikes Peak, otherwise known as America's Mountain, because it was the inspiration behind the America the Beautiful Anthem. This giant 14er can be seen from nearly anywhere in the city of Colorado Springs. Not to mention it is also one of the three peaks that can be viewed from Denver, including Mount Evans and Longs Peak. Pikes Peak can be accessed via car, but is a very winding and narrow road, and during busy summer months, you may be required to take the complimentary shuttle due to limited parking at the top. But there are more ways to get to the mountaintop than just driving. A more relaxed approach to getting to the summit of Pikes Peak would be booking a jeep tour to go to the top or take a ride on the famous Cog Railway. Both of these are just sitting back, taking in the views and letting someone else concentrate on driving. And if you're feeling up to it, you can bike or hike up any of the various mountain trails, though this is not for the faint of heart. And once you're at the top, the views are unmatched. You'll literally feel like you're on top of the world. Number 9. Mount Princeton Hot Springs it's no secret that I love visiting Colorado Hot Springs all year long. And one of my favorite places is a local hidden gem called Mount Princeton Hot Springs Resort. This hot spring destination is a true resort getaway in Colorado, as the location is secluded and covers 70 acres of land. The resort features several large pools with a water slide, rustic creekside hot springs, and a full spa. If you want to relax in the mineral hot springs water that bubbles naturally out of the ground, you're going to love this destination. One unique aspect of this hot springs is that the hot water that gurgles out of the ground is completely scent free and doesn't carry that strong and familiar rotten egg smell that you get from sulfur at most hot springs. And Mount Princeton Hot Springs is within a relatively short distance as it's less than two and a half hours southwest of Denver and about two hours west of Colorado Springs. It's also conveniently located in Nathrop between the small mountain towns of Salida and Buena Vista. So there's plenty of lodging, sightseeing, hiking, eating and drinking options nearby. And Mount Princeton Hot Springs is also less than 30 minutes away from St. Elmo Ghost Town, which is one of Colorado's most famous ghost towns. Number 8. Red Rocks Amphitheater Another epic Colorado bucket list destination that's located close to Denver is Red Rocks Amphitheater. Known for being a famous concert venue, Red Rocks is an iconic venue that has hosted many famous bands and musicians throughout the decades. The natural rock formations in the area make the outdoor amphitheater the perfect stage for acoustics. The surrounding area at Red Rocks is also a great place to hike, take in the sights, or to do a workout class. The park is situated 6,400 feet in elevation and covers more than 850 acres of bizarre and almost alien-like sandstorm formations dotted throughout rolling hills and meadows. It represents the intersection between the Great Plains and the Rocky Mountains and offers stunning views that you won't find elsewhere in the state. Number 7. Grand Lake Grand Lake is named for the town as well as the large lake that sits high above the clouds at nearly 8,400 feet above sea level. This large body of water backs up against the beautiful Rocky Mountain National Park and is considered the western gateway to the national park. Grand Lake is Colorado's largest and deepest natural lake, but what makes this even more incredible are the breathtaking views and staggeringly huge mountains on all sides. This is truly a grand place for water sports and other aquatic activities too. There are paddle boards and other small aquatic vessels available to rent, or you can bring your own boat and slip it into one of the lake's marinas. Grand Lake also allows for public swimming and features a well-maintained swimming and sunbathing beach, which is something that a lot of Colorado lakes don't necessarily have. And of course, since Grand Lake is nearby Rocky Mountain National Park, visitors can enjoy hiking, biking, camping, fishing, horseback riding, and many other outdoor activities nearby. Number 6. Glenwood Caverns and Hot Springs Right off of Interstate 70, along the banks of the Colorado River, you'll find the world's largest mineral hot springs. It also happens to be one of my favorite yearly destinations and natural hot springs resorts. The Glenwood Hot Springs Pool produces over 3.5 million gallons of naturally hot water every single day. Enjoy a relaxing soak in the large mineral pool or the smaller therapy pool that's heated to over 100 degrees. 
And while you're visiting Glenwood Springs, I highly recommend checking out the Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park. It's no secret that Colorado is known for having lots of caves for exploring, and some of the most beautiful ones are located here. Take a ride up Iron Mountain inside one of the gorgeous Glenwood gondolas, and then get ready for some fun underground cave exploration. Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park has two different caves that are open to public, King's Row and the Fairy Caves, both of which offer incredible history and feature what life was back in the Gold Rush days. Number 5. Garden of the Gods Garden of the Gods is a popular Colorado bucket list destination in Colorado Springs for good reason. This magnificent natural wonder is a national natural landmark and is also well known as one of Colorado's most photographed views. Garden of the Gods is a sprawling 1,300 acres of sandstorm formations and includes more than 15 designation trails for hiking, grasslands, and a nature and visitor center with a free museum. Personally, my favorite way to see Garden of the Gods is to start by driving through the park along the paved one-way road. It's a short 20 minute drive, but it's an awesome way to get familiar with the park before exploring more deeply. Along the road, at High Point, you can catch an incredible view as the towering red rock sandstorm formations rise up before the mountainous backdrop of Pikes Peak and the Front Range. This is a rocky mountain playground that inspires awe from its grandiose in visitors both young and old. Plus, this city park is completely free to explore all year round. Number 4. Mesa Verde National Park Colorado is full of history, but not all of it focuses on ghost towns or the gold rush days. Much of the history of the Wild West land is related to the ancestral Pueblo people that inhabited much of the state thousands of years ago. And Mesa Verde National Park is a perfect example of this historical culture. Mesa Verde is home to one of the most dense archaeological sites known as the Cliff Palace. These dwellings are incredibly preserved and give us a sense of what life was like for the tribes who lived in Colorado. There are several roads and paths nearby that are open to the public for exploring, hiking, and rock climbing. Located near the town of Cortez, Mesa Verde can be reached by road and is about a 45 minute drive from town. If you don't have time to drive to the corner of the state, a small replica of Mesa Verde is located at the Cliff Dwellings in Manitou Springs near Colorado Springs. Number three. Great Sand Dunes National Park I think most people will agree that some of the best destinations on any Colorado bucket list are the national parks, and the Great Sand Dunes National Parks is one of them. This is like no other national park in the country, and certainly unlike any other landscape in Colorado. With nearly 150,000 acres to explore and 30 square miles of sand dunes, there are a variety of things to do here, including sandboarding, sand sledding, hiking, camping, and more. Plus, you'll find the Star Dune, the tallest sand dune in North America, which creates a stunning setting thanks to the mounds and mounds of sand. And during late spring and early summer, kids and adults can have fun splashing in Madano Creek that runs along the base of the dunes. The Great Sand Dunes National Park is a mesmerizing place surrounded by gorgeous views of the Santa de Cristo Mountains and is truly, truly unique. Number 2. The Royal Gorge Bridge and Train the Royal Gorge Bridge is a must-do on my bucket list this year and is totally unique thanks to it being the highest suspension bridge in North America. This one-of-a-kind destination is like no other on this list. The Royal Gorge is a 1,200-foot canyon that surrounds the Arkansas River and forms a 10-mile-long canyon with the bridge as its centerpiece. The entirety of the bridge and park sits on 360 acres and is open 365 days a year for locals and visitors. Crossing the bridge can be a terrifyingly exhilarating experience, whether you're driving across on a jeep tour, crossing on foot, or taking the aerial gondola. The Royal Gorge is also great for kids thanks to its many kid-friendly activities like the Plaza Theater and Children's Playground. But there are also many fun things for adults to do as well, including the Royal Gorge Route Railroad. Royal Gorge Train offers a one-of-a-kind experience with three-course lunches and dinners, wine tasting, and special occasion train rides. This ride and dine experience goes on a 24 mile round trip train ride that lasts about two hours and carries more than 100,000 passengers each year. This out and back trip travels through the heart of the beautiful Royal Gorge, through the canyon and under the famous suspension bridge that hangs about 1,000 feet from the canyon floor. This is definitely one of the most amazing additions for your Colorado bucket list this year. Number one, Rocky Mountain National Park. 
Whether you're camping in the park itself or staying at the beautiful town of Esses Park nearby, this rugged wilderness is like nothing else in the United States. This rustic outdoor paradise covers more than 265,000 acres of mountain peaks, valleys, lush forests, glacial lakes, and miles and miles of hiking trails. It offers a truly unique experience, depending on the time of year you visit, as each month or season will yield a completely different type of experience. Throughout the summer, Rocky Mountain National Park is popular with locals and tourists for its waterfall hikes or for taking a swim in any of the alpine lakes, including Dream Lake and Emerald Lake. And yes, they are just as gorgeous as they sound. Or go for a drive up Trail Ridge Road, the highest continuously paved road in North America. During the winter, there are more than 300 miles of hiking trails available for exploring via snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. These are just a handful of the best Colorado bucket list destinations you can add to your list this year. There's always something unique and interesting to do in Colorado, from outdoor activities to incredible experiences no matter what time of year. Do you have another bucket list item to add to this list? Leave a comment and let me know.